What's up guys? In this video, I want to talk about Aerodrome Finance, which is at the all-time high right now at the start of this video. 67 cents, it is Coinbase's Dex for base, their layer two. Uh, Aerodrome Finance <laughs> gets a lot of hate. Uh, it's a Dex crypto, which if you don't know what Dex is, it's a decentralized exchange where you can buy, swap, trade crypto, usually for a fraction of a a fee it's very fast and you know if you want those hard to find uh, new cryptos that aren't oftentimes on centralized exchanges right away you can usually find them on a dex and coinbase ventures by the way back this crypto and they didn't disclose the amount but i'm willing to bet it's over a hundred million dollars uh, it's an experimental asset because it just got launched on coinbase the crypto just came out last august i believe and it's the first bull cycle for it the chart looks amazing, almost 700% up in the past month. The month chart is the year chart because it just got on Coinbase. Um, average home finance is getting a lot of hate. And I always say when you see fun in the streets, when you see red in the ocean, when you see hate out there in the world. For crypto, that's bullish. That's a green flag for me to buy, which I've been doing, by the way. If you want to see when I buy, sell, I trade crypto. Or you want to be part of a support group of like-minded investors. I highly encourage you guys to join Patreon and Discord. It's definitely important to be a part of a group, especially during these times before we take massive profits. The uh, trading volume for Aerodrome is 25.7 million, which is very significant. I'm actually curious to see what other exchanges it's on right now because that volume is very high. Um, a lot of people are starting to do their research. I always say self-education is the best, right? Um, it's on Coinbase, Uniswap, naturally. CoinX, and I think that's it. Let's see. Yeah, that's pretty much it. So Coinbase is the only big exchange it's on. So a lot of people, you know, in the UK and Europe, they can't even buy this unless they use a VPN or if they buy on a DEX like Uniswap. Uh, it's very hard to find. I believe it's only a matter of time before it gets on a Binance or other tier one exchange. This is one of the who you know, connected crypto. This is a very connected crypto. I know a lot of you guys hate VC-backed cryptos. Um, Coinbase though, it's the most popular exchange for a reason, especially because CZ is down from Binance and Binance took a step back. It definitely matters who you're working with, who you're connected to. And Everdrome Finance, I've been buying this crypto since 14 cents, okay? I've been desaying all the way up. The last purchase I believe was around 40 cents. It's going to cool off before I get the hey Josh too late. It's probably going to cool off. But I did say on Twitter, it's only a matter of time before this thing hits a dollar. At a $1 billion market cap, this is almost a 4 or $5 price tag. That can happen now during this time. Even though Bitcoin's pumping right now, last I checked, it was 72 k If Bitcoin dumps, average on finance still doesn't have that liquidity yet to follow and marry Bitcoin. So even if Bitcoin tanks, oftentimes these micro and small caps can rise like this, which average drone right now is roughly 225 million market cap. It is still a small cap. So like I said, it can 10x up here, which is around five, six dollars, and still be at that point where it eventually marries Bitcoin. Can you imagine Aerodrome right now getting a $5 before 2025? That'd be a crazy game, right? Now I'm not saying to uh to expect that to happen. Obviously, none of us here have crystal balls. I know some of you like to joke and say I do. I don't. Made some good calls, yes. Um, but a lot of this, like I tell you guys, is timing. Timing and entries, right? If you wait to buy Aerodrome, let's just say today at 68 cents, and it goes down, you're going to hate it and call it a pump and dump. Naturally, right? But if you bought it with me in my Discord at 14 cents, you're loving life right now. So a lot of this is timing. It's the same for Caspa, same for Bitcoin. You buy them at the all-time highs, they're going to hate yourself, right? So this is why I say, who cares what the FUD is out there, the, the fear, uncertainty, and doubt? Who cares if the tokenomics aren't the best? If you believe in it, if you're bullish on it, you know what to do. Another example of a bad centralized tokenized uh, crypto, say. But say has what? VC interest, VC backing. And that is also up. Aerodrome, I'm telling you right now, a lot of people are discounting it because of the tokenomics, the supply, which I know is around 800 million. It's a lot, whatever. It's still not where, nowhere near a billion. Even though it's inflationary, it's still nowhere near 50 billion, 100 billion, right? Um, but a lot of people are using these statistics and saying, okay, bearish. 
I take tokenomics, inflation, and the marketplace in conjunction with each other, you know, all together. I don't just say, okay, bad tokenomics, bad crypto, or okay, it's uh, heavy, heavily allocated to the team, bad crypto. For me, I look at many different things to just one metric, the chart or the allocation or the centralization, the centralization of the marketplace. This is how you have to be as an investor. This is why you have to research because the people who are trading this right now, which they'll come back and realize was a mistake, the ones who are trading this right now for a 2x, 3x, or they're waiting to want to get back in because they're following some idiot YouTubers who are saying this is a rug pull, whatever. They're going to come back and be like, John, you're right. And you know what's going to happen? Error drone finance is going to be over a dollar. And like I said, guys, I'm not here to defend whatever. You guys do whatever you want to. You follow whoever you want to follow. I'm saying the proof is in the pudding. The actions speak for itself. A lot of my picks lately have been skyrocketing. And if they dump, they always form higher lows. I'm not saying that to be cocky whatsoever. I'm just saying I have a little experience in this market. I kind of understand how it works now. The thing is this, right? The whales, smart money, they don't give a F what you think or retail thinks. They'll come in. They'll swoop up the market and send this soaring. How do I know this? Because I've been around last cycle. I've seen it happen then. I'm seeing it happen now. You're going to see a major rip in the old coins. Old coin season is not here yet. I know you're probably seeing some headlines on YouTube. Who cares? It is not here yet. It will come though. Bitcoin, the fact that it's already in a 70k range, regardless if it dumps from here, that's very bullish. I originally said 90k, 100k minimum. I wouldn't be surprised if it blows past 100k before old coin season takes place. Um, Bitcoin, some are saying 200k. They're always going to say more and more and more and more. If it hits 100k, it's 300k coming. If it hits 200k, it's a million dollars is coming. You're never going to stop that. I could care less. That's going to cause more hype, more FOMO, more upwards price action. But Aerodrome Finance, this is a diamond in the rough. Again, Coinbase Ventures would not be back in this crypto if it was a scam. You got to use some common sense here, right? I don't care who you guys follow. Again, Coinbase would not be back in this crypto for a pump and dump. Do you really think Brian Armstrong wants to cause a pump and dump on his exchange? Let's be real here. Use some common sense. Name a pump and dump rug pull, an actual legit rug pull, where the liquidity was drained on Coinbase. You're talking to somebody who has actually witnessed a rug pull. I saw Squid Token come out when the show was popular, get rug pulled. I saw Saitama migrate to V2 and then get rug pulled. I've seen Safe Moon where the team got arrested because they were taking the liquidity pool and buying like cars and Rolexes with it. I saw freaking Terra Luna, top 10, go all the way down the gutter. I saw FTT token, FTX's token, go under. A lot of people want to hate what they don't understand. And I could care less if you want to be lazy. If you're lazy in this market or in life in general, you're going to hate yourself when you realize you had all this time and opportunity to change your life, change your habits, change this. I'm not here to be some motivational speaker and tell you how to live your life. I'm telling you from experience, the more ignorant you are, the more you want to be in your bubble and just hate, you can do it all day. You're not going to change. My portfolio is changing and change it for the better. I can leave the market today and save success. And that is pre-having. Can you say the same? If you can't, then you gotta really revisit your mindset. Have you been making the right moves lately? Have you been researching properly? Have you been falling for the foot, falling for these idiots online? I'm not here saying I'm the best. I'm not here saying I have a crystal ball, none of that stuff. I'm just telling you, a lot of my calls, a lot of my picks, one way or another, at some point in time or another, have gotten FUD, have gotten hate, have gotten called scams, have gotten called rug pulls, have been down 20% or 50% or more in some cases. And I maintain conviction in the majority of them. Do I consolidate here and there? Sure, yes, I have. I've done recently, right? But Aerodrome Finance is another example, will be another example of a crypto that will get more FUD more hate, and you're going to see it continue to do this. You will see in due time. I'm not here to cause FOMO. Again, you guys know I'm not like that. I'm just saying you're going to see more examples like this. Penguin PNG, another one coming up. It's down right now. I can't wait for the fun. It's going to have a stay as well. You're going to see a lot of people realize that being a sheep is not a fun time, especially in this market now. We're in the bull cycle. What you do now is paramount to your success. Hear that again, paramount to your success. 
You have to wake the F up and start making moves. Become your own investor. And like I said, you're more than welcome to join the Wolfpack. I have a link in the pinned comments down below. You have to fix this. Average home finance, which by the way, just reached a new all-time high on camera right now. 69 cents. It's only a matter of time before it breaks a dollar. Whether you say you missed it, whether you're staying away for whatever reason, I don't care. All I'm saying is, let this be an example of why you have to be your own investor before it's too late. And like I always say, regardless of what you or I think or someone else thinks, this market will move with or without you. But anyways, now I want to hear from you. Are you holding Aerodrome Finance? And if so, where do you see its price this bull cycle? Drop your comment down below and let me know. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. It really helps so much. That being said, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you in the next one.